Twitter has officially accepted Elon Musk's billion-dollar offer as of this Monday, which makes him now the CEO of the entire company. The stock closed up to only 5.64% for the day after it was halted for the news, and Elon Musk has already began making a post saying this. Free speech is the bedrock of a functioning democracy and Twitter is the digital town square. I also want to make Twitter better than ever by enhancing the product with new features, making the algorithms open source to increase trust, defeating the spam bots, and authenticating all humans. Twitter would become a private company on completion of the deal, and many people wonder what changes will come for the future of Twitter. But also in other news, Kid Rock had been talked about on the Insane Clown Posse's podcast, where one of the members that goes by the name of Shaggy 2 Dope had called him a racist, and many fans in the comments reacted. The word racist gets thrown around so loosely these days if you don't like someone or their ideologies, just call them racist. Kid Rock ain't racist, get the fuck out of here, I love these dudes, but just because you don't agree with someone's ideology doesn't make the person a racist, come on now. Kid Rock isn't racist, I've been going to see ICP since 98, it's sad what they have become, at least Kid Rock never did a song about killing gay people, yeah I said it. Another comment had said, I think the idea I present to anyone that claims he's racist, even if he said racial shit back in the day in the early 90s, that doesn't reflect who he is today, like in the current times of 2022. I think it's hard for ICP to claim he's racist when they haven't spoke with him in 30 years. I'm sure someone could say the same about ICP considering their older stuff had homophobic lyrics like a vast majority of rappers in the 90s. Now the video where Shaggy 2 Dope calls Kid Rock a racist is actually premium content, so I'm not going to show the audio, but I am going to tell you guys exactly what Shaggy 2 Dope had said about Kid Rock. I don't like Kid Rock, I personally think he's a racist piece of shit, but I can't knock his hustle. Back in the day, his hustle was immaculate. When he got kicked off his job records, he grinded like a motherfucker to get where he was. So rather I like him is not even a fucking factor, because he did grind, but I personally cannot stand him. Now lastly, there was a Ryan Upchurch concert over the weekend, and a fan had decided to throw his keys to his Hellcat on stage. So, first off, I'm going to say this, this next song, I was riding around, man, and I see, I see these young fellas, this, oh, what? that's a Hellcat key, I don't know what that looks like, right here, right here, right here, right here, why'd you throw your key at the wall? I wanted to say you, I saw the shirt earlier, I was like, yo, did this fall out of my pocket? Dude, you want me to sign this? Yes, yes! So here you go, bro. You need to. But hey, drink you some water before you drive that thing. It's dangerous. <laughs> Now also, Ryan Upshurst had made a post about his last and final concert for however long he chooses not to perform, and here's what he had to say about it. They do not make letters, language, or punctuation to express this feeling, so I will simply leave this here and keep smiling when I look at these pictures. Thank you, Nashville. I will never forget this night for the rest of my physical life. Now that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button, push that notification bell to keep up to date with everything that is going on. And as always, it's been your boy Dylan Talks. I will see you guys later. And always remember to stay tuned. Oh.